Hello there, and welcome back to Fridays with Ellen. I'm going to make this as short and sweet as possible, because I'm not really supposed to be on the computer right now, because I'm kind of grounded, because I'm doing really bad in the class, and yeah. But I have to get this done, and I, it's a subject I really want to talk about, and I could go on forever, probably, but I can't, because then you'll get bored. But um, the other day, I was talking to my friend Kayla about the protests like occupying Wall Street and op occupying Cleveland now, and I told her there's just so many other things that we could be protesting right now, and besides the economy, and I told her I'd have to look at it this way. Like, I'd rather be living here than in, like, Mexico right now because money may seem like an issue for the middle class here, but we have actual homes. We have actual jobs. Girls our age in Juarez, they make your microwave, they make your TV set, and they get cheap. They get paid less money than I can even imagine. Like, we think we have it bad. But they have to worry about walking home past drug cartels and rapists and murderers just to support their families, to get their, to their jobs every day. And they go home to shacks and little pieces of steel and cardboard every night in the middle of the desert. It's the Maquila Doras, or Twin Cities, which is Juarez and El Paso, right, um, right down the middle, split by the river. It, the big city with bright lights on one side, and then shacks and bus stops right on the other. And one side makes all of the equipment, and the other side gets to sell it and keep the money. And it's just stuff like that where I don't see how we can be so selfish as an entire nation. We are still considered a superpower. We still have money. We still have our freedom. And then there's these girls right south of our border, right on our doorstep, who are selling us things so we can sell them to other people for more money. And then we're not the only country who takes them. It's a global thing, but it shouldn't be ignored like it does. There's so much more things out there that we should be protesting, and it's not fair. And I just, I don't get it. My grandpa is from Veracruz. Um, he's died, but I still have family down there. And their authorities, they find girls' bodies dumped in alleys every day, in rivers, on the highway. And the men, they get killed or assassinated for not doing the job right. It's ridiculous. And it's right there, right in front of us. The media never picks up on it, and I think they just want to deny that it's happening because we profit from their labor and what they do every day and how they suffer every day just to get a hot meal at night while we sell our microwaves and our TV set and we get the money for it. Um, it's happening, I think, a lot more in the past 20 years than before. Like, I watched a video of a man who's lived in Morris his whole life, and he said he used to talk about how beautiful it was and how such a great place it was. Now he can't say that. It's one of the worst cities in the entire world, the most dangerous. And it's crazy how that can just all fall apart in 20 years. And now no one even realizes it. No one cares. There is a book by Charles Bowden called Juarez, Laboratory of Our Future. And I haven't read it all yet. I've skimmed through it a bit. But um, from the play I'm in, I know about it. It's basically he's saying that if we let it go on right, right there, what else will we turn away from? Um, also, in our play, we talk about... Um, I-45 South in Texas. It's a highway known as the Serial Killer's Paradise. And girls have gone missing and are raped and murdered on this highway because no one really patrols it. And it's just like, 
free game like convenience stores, bus stops, um, pay phones that little girls can get kidnapped from. And I think it is. It's something as a country we've looked away from. And I'm not sure why if we can be so concerned about our money and our jobs being taken away. Why can't we be concerned about our children, our little girls being kidnapped and taken? I don't know. It's just unbelievable to me that we can be so selfish and just not even open our eyes to something really disturbing. So that is something I want to raise awareness of. There's so many YouTube videos on this subject of Juarez in general and the girls and just the lack of technology that they have to find out who's doing what and pretty intense. So, yeah. I hope you have a good weekend. Thank you for listening. Bye.